welcome back children now we are moving on to the next topic that is addition and subtraction of measures of time we are going to learn how to add and subtract measures of time okay now first we'll do with addition first question 5 hours 50 minutes plus 1 hour 45 minutes here we are not going to do like normal addition or subtraction we have to do it separately first you will add the minutes separately then you will add the hours separately okay you would be doing it like like a normal addition or normal subtraction okay children so here i can write it here hours and here i can write it as minutes so first one is 5 hours 50 minutes and second one is 1 hour 45 minutes so i'm not going to add the like uh, like how you do the normal addition but what i have to do is first i will add the minutes so when i add the minutes what do i get 0 plus 5 5 5 plus 4 9 so i got 95 minutes there then 5 plus 1 i got 6 so i got 6 hours 95 minutes now what i'm going to do is i'm going to bit rearrange this so here i have 95 minutes from this 95 minutes i'm going to take away 60 minutes why am i taking away 60 minutes children we know 60 minutes is 1 hour right children 60 minutes is 1 hour so that 60 minutes i will take it to this hour so when i take away 60 minutes from this from 95 i take away 60 minutes what do i get balance i get 35 minutes so 35 minutes and that 60 minutes what i have taken 60 minutes is 1 hour that 1 hour i'll add it to the 6 so i will get 7 hours 35 minutes so my final answer is 7 hours 35 Understood, children. So, what did I do first? First, I added the minutes. Then, I added the hours. So, I got six hours, ninety-five minutes. From ninety-five, I took away sixty minutes. So, balance I got thirty-five. So, thirty-five minutes. And that sixty minutes, what I took away, sixty minutes is one hour. That one hour I added to this six. So, I got seven. Seven hours, thirty-five minutes. Okay, children. Second one is a similar type. You can do it as a homework. This is also similar type, but I'll show you hours, minutes. First one is two hours forty-five minutes. Second one is only thirty-five minutes. There is no hours. So from what I can put a zero over here. It's not necessary. Zero hours thirty-five minutes. So first I will add this separately. Forty-five plus thirty-five, I get ten, and I get eighty. So eighty minutes I get over here. Okay. Then two hours. Now from this eighty minutes, I'm taking away sixty minutes. What do I get? From eighty, I take away sixty. What is the balance I'm getting here? I get twenty. So twenty minutes. And that sixty minutes, what I took away, that is one hour. That one hour I added over here, so this becomes three. So the answer becomes three hours twenty minutes. Three hours twenty minutes. clear children okay now now this is based on years and months 4 years 7 months plus 5 years 8 months so years months 4 years 7 months you have to be very careful when you are arranging the numbers okay children 4 years 7 months 5 years 8 months so i'm going to add this Here also, I will add it separately. Seven plus eight, it is fifteen. Usually, what do you do, children? When you get seven plus eight, fifteen, you write five here and you add this one over here, isn't it? Don't do that. You are doing it separately. Seven plus eight, fifteen months. Four plus five, nine years. Okay. Now, from we know one year is twelve months, right? The relation between year and month. One year is twelve months. So what I'll do? I'll take away twelve from fifteen. What ha what do I get when I take away twelve from fifteen? I'll get three. So here I have three years, and that twelve years sorry twelve months what I have taken twelve months means one year. That one year I'll add it over here. So I'll get ten years and three months. My final answer is ten years and three months. Understood, children? Next one, minutes, seconds. 
7 minutes 65 seconds, 8 minutes 45 seconds, you add it, okay. So, when I add I get over here 10 carry 1 I get 110 over here. 6 plus 4 is 10, 10 plus 1 is 11, so I get 110 seconds and here I get 15 minutes. Again, minutes and seconds, what is the relation children? Minutes and seconds, 1 minute is 60 seconds, so I will take away 60 from 110, what do I get balance? 60 from 110, 0, here I borrow, I bring 11, 11 minus 6 is 5. So, balance I have 50 seconds over here. Then, that 60 seconds what I took away, 60 seconds is 1 minute. That 1 minute I added over here, so I get 16 minutes, 50 seconds. Understood? So, this is how we do addition. I have given you one question as homework in addition. Now, another one also. This is also based on years and months. So, question, two questions in addition is homework for you. Now, we will move on to subtraction, okay. First question, 8 minutes, it is 10 seconds, not 16, it is 10 seconds children. 8 minutes, 10 seconds minus 7 minutes, 2 seconds. Here also you are doing it separately, small difference is there, 8 minutes, 10 seconds, 7 minutes, 2 seconds. First, I will do 10 minus 2. What do I get? I get 8 seconds. Here, I will do 8 minus 7. I get 1. Here, I do not have anything to bring to seconds or to minutes. It is a small number. So, 1 minute, 8 seconds is the answer. 1 minute, 8 seconds is the answer. Now, next one. 9 hours, 20 minutes. 3 hours, 40 minutes. So, hours and minutes. 9 hours, 20 minutes, 3 hours, 40 minutes. 9 hours. Now, here I usually you go wrong. What you will do? You will write this 40 on top and you will write 20 down. Do not do that. Thinking that 40 is bigger than 20. You cannot do like that. Do it according to the question. For 9 it is 20. So, you have to write 20 itself over there. 9 hours, 20 minutes minus 3 hours 40 minutes. Okay. Now, as I told you, we are going to do the subtraction separately. So, 20 minus 40. Can I do children 20 minus 40? Is it possible? Not possible. So, what can, what can I do over here? In addition, what did we do? You took from minutes and you gave it to hours. Isn't it? Similarly, you took from seconds, you gave it to minutes. You took from months and you gave it to years. Isn't it? But what I am going to do here in subtraction from 9 hours, I will take 1 hour. What is the balance I have there? I have 8 hours. Okay. Now, 1 hour is how many minutes? 60 minutes. That 60 and this 20 together, I will add, I will get 80 minutes. 60 plus 20. I have to add that 60 and the 20 what I have over here, I will get 80 minutes. Now, 80 minus 40, can I do? Yes, 0 minus 0, 0, 8 minus 4, I will get 4. Once again, children, from 9 hours, I took away 1 hour. Balance, I have 8 hours. That 1 hour is how many minutes? 60 minutes. That 60 minutes, I added to this 20, I got 80. Okay, 60 plus 20, 80. Now, I can minus 0 minus 0, 0. 8 minus 4 is 4 over here. Then 8 minus 3, 5. So, what is my answer? 5 hours 40 minutes. 5 hours 40 minutes. I will show you with years and months. Years, months. Write in order 5 years, 3 months. 2 years, 5 months. Minus. Again, you can see 3 minus 5. Is it possible? It is not possible. So, what I will do? I will borrow from 5 years. From 5 years, I will borrow 1 year. I am not borrowing 1. I am borrowing 1 year. So, balance I have 4 years. 
1 year is how many months 12 months that 12 and this 3 together what will i get i'll get 15 months so this i'll cancel i'll write 15 here i took one year from here one year is 12 months that 12 and the 3 which was already over here 12 plus 3 i'll get 15 years now 15 months so now i can minus what is 15 minus 5 from 15 what 5 goes away you get 10 months from 4 2 goes away you get 2 years so 2 years 10 months 2 years 10 months understood now i'll show you with weeks and days we haven't done one question with that right so weeks and days again 7 weeks 8 days minus 4 weeks 9 days again you can see 8 minus 9 not possible so i will borrow from 1 week 1 week is how many days children 7 days so i have 6 weeks over here now 7 days that 7 and 8 i will add what will i get i will get 15 one week is seven days so that seven and that eight i will add i'll get 15 now how much is 15 minus 9 6 15 minus 9 is 6 6 and then 6 minus 4 you get 2 so two weeks 6 days okay now this one is also homework but you have to be very careful children over here since it is a subtraction. Here it is 13 minutes and I do not have anything with seconds. So I have to put two zeros that is compulsory especially when you are doing subtraction. Okay. And here 5 minutes 35 seconds. Okay. And you will complete it as a homework. Keep in mind if you do not have in the first number if anything is missing immediately put 0 especially when you are doing subtraction and you have to put two zeros because we know seconds it is in second part you have two digits right whether it is minutes or seconds in the second part you have two digits so immediately you put two zeros understood what is needed that many zeros you will put if it is all in this case weeks and days you need to put only if you did not have this 8 over here you have to put one zero over there if you did not have if you did not have that 8 over there, you have to put 1 0 over there. But relating with minutes, seconds, hours, minutes, all these comes, you have to put 2 zeros in the first number. If anything is missing, you have to put 2 zeros. Without that, you cannot subtract. Okay, children? So, do this as a homework. Understood? Thank you.